Why are you here? Today I'm here on a surprise mission. I did not know that Donald Trump was going to be here. Surprise, surprise. I work for Save the Children, where we care about this nation and all others. Make sure that kids have a great opportunity to grow up independent, right? Free thinkers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. obviously, I am on a mission on a daily basis to make sure that I can inspire people to do what's best for our children, mm -hmm. for our children's children. And do you have a website today? SaveTheChildren.org. SaveTheChildren.org. And, and what, what is that about? That's right. What, about, what is that about? That's about helping kids who are underprivileged, making sure they have an opportunity to grow up independent like you and I. Right? So I am very much against Trump. I am hoping, hoping and praying every single day Bernie Sanders gets as many people as he can involved <laughs> with our mission of peace and love. How do you yeah, how like do you that. agree with uh, socialism in uh, different countries like China, North Korea, and you look at uh, Russia? How do you agree with uh, uh, socialism in different, co different countries? I believe that this nation is so different from any other. This is the melting pot where people can have free speech, where people can voice their opinions, and by people power, in great means, we can accomplish anything. But we need to stand with love and we need to stand with respect with every human who walks into this country. So you agree with uh, socialist and communism country or how's that? I believe that this country is like no other and that this country can accomplish great things if we all work together. So if that's socialism, yeah, that, uh, if that's socialism in this country, I believe that's the only thing that's going to work if we can band together. Socialism has never worked so, in any other country. Although that may be true from history, today history is, repeats itself. It sure does. That's why we have to learn from it, and that's why we have to stand together and try to reach a happy medium and make of sure course. that and make sure that this country's people know the power of people power and not arguing but finding a happy medium and finding some common ground to stand on to make sure that education is what is the most important thing in this country. So do you think education should be free? I believe that education can be free and I believe that it's going to take a huge movement to make that possible for our near future. But right now I feel like our kids are lacking in education. So do you think the, um, the teachers should be um, work for free? Absolutely not. Well, uh, education's free and you have to have teachers, so how do you feel about that? I believe that this military that we have is something that cannot be broken, right? And I believe that instead of spending extra money on out of fear mm -hmm. of the unknown, that we can take a little bit of some money and put it towards something better, like education for our children. Hey, ladies, why do you bring Trump? Side. I fucking love him. Why, why do you love Trump? Because he's going to make America great again. He's not afraid. Yes. Fuck Bernie. Put America first. Fuck Hillary. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure if we got U.S. but we converse with them. We converse with them, though. Oh, you do? Yeah, we do. Are they here? Uh, no, uh, Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ma hey, make America great again, people. That's what we're trying to do. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Bring, brings hope to my heart. Younger generation. That's right. Yeah. You know what? We don't want those Shiite motherfuckers coming and taking over our women. Donald Trump because Why? I have my own personal opinions about him. <laughs> Why is that? I think he's a liar, a bigot, and a racist. How is he a liar, bigot, and racist? Start from the top. How is he a liar? I think his own words. Like what? He's a liar and a bigot and a racist. The way he talks about Muslims. The way he talks what do you say about Muslims? Hold on, wait. What do you say about Muslims? The feelings that he inspires, you know. I'm going to tell you, I'm 11th generation American on my father's side, going back to Williamsburg, Virginia, 1637. And you know what? This is not what America is about. Go back to the main No, no. How, how, how about, how do you feel about Trump's rhetoric about Muslims? What do you say that makes him a liar? 
uh, number one liar. He's a liar. How? Because he's trying to incite hate that all Muslims are trying to come here, kill Americans, and we know that's not true. Not all Muslims are like that. Not all Muslims are terrorists. You know. Okay? Okay, so. If you want to defeat terrorism, inciting hate is not the answer. Okay, so uh, so all Muslims are not terrorists. Do you believe? Do you believe in Sharia law? Do I believe in Sharia law? Yes. I don't live in Sharia law. Do you? Well, Muslims believe in Sharia law. Do you believe in Sharia law? I don't know. I don't live in that. Well, Do obvious, uh, obviously, no. You, Women how familiar, to how familiar are you with the Muslim religion? I know about Sharia law, and I know they want to cut heads off of Christians. Oh, okay. And and, and and they will rape you for where in this country, and it's and it's been done in this country. Have your, uh, you, San Bernardino, San Bernardino. Muslims are doing it. All one billion Muslims across no, no. the world no, no, no. are doing no, no. these. Not all Muslims. Muslims. It's, uh, there's a disproportionate amount of Muslims who are committing these crimes. And if you look at uh, Pew Research, a very uh, reputable research firm, 20% of Muslims believe in what ISIS is doing. 20%. That's a huge number. So we can't let these refugees in when 20% well, of them agree Saturday with ISIS. You'd have See what I'm saying? Right now. You'd be we like, have to vet them. I mean, I mean, you would, you would have to be covered. Everyone that comes to this country. Okay, that's that's what Trump's saying. But that's what Trump. Everyone. So why is he targeting only Muslims in his speeches? Because Muslims are cutting Christians' heads off. Why is he not talking about people coming over from other countries? He is Mexico. Okay, that's a different issue. You're talking about Mexicans and Muslims? Issue. And he's talking about illegal So you're immigrants. lumping Mexicans and Muslims together? No, I, no, I'm saying the border's open and the Muslims are coming through the Mexican border. It's so easy to come through the Mexican border. ISIS is coming through the Mexican border right now. Okay, so you put your money into defending the border. Exactly, build the wall. How are you going to build a wall? Have you been out? Have you been out to the East County? Have you been to the border? You're going to build a wall? Do you realize that they dig under the border? They actually, they actually, it's the Native Americans. You're the immigrant. You're the immigrant. It's the Native Americans. So you Native Mexicans. Native Americans. Central Americans are Native. You see right there? That's that's an immigrant. You're an immigrant, homie. You can say Jerry's to call. You can. Right? Because he left. Because he left. Right, so we shouldn't leave the door unlocked. Because he left the door unlocked, right? What's the definition of an immigrant? The left who migrated from a different area, right? right? Okay, so the borders that are in America, the whole continent, were man-made, right? Okay, by European people who were never even here from the start, right? So how is someone going to come here that has never been here and tell me to get the fuck out of my land? Thank you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Because you just said that we're all immigrants. I'm an immigrant. Relax, I'm first generation. Man. What's the definition of it? I'm sorry, you, you watch the you watch the old game. I was going here. Go ahead, Vance. Can I get a shot, a shot of your pants? How do you feel about all these Bernie Sapan, Bernie supporters and uh, La Raza coming here with foreign flags, flying the foreign flags in your own country? Bernie Sanders is a complete socialist, complete idiot. Anyone that votes for him is a dumbass. Uh, how, how do you feel about Hillary Clinton being a woman, the first woman president? I don't, I don't give a shit about Hillary Clinton. She's a liar, she's a fake, and anybody that votes for her is an idiot. Oh yeah, damn right, thank you. Uh, yeah.